I told you guys we were gonna get real close. Hi, how are you? It was like a dream come true. Like, I feel like this is what the girls who have like two to three day periods experience. This is the first week and this is how it's gonna be. Like, I could do this. Like, this is- Maui here. I am here with another video and in today's video once again we're getting real close. We're getting to the nitty gritty, the things we don't usually talk about and that's fine but we're going to talk about it today. Today I am going to be giving you guys a one month update on my Kylina IUD insertion, how it's been going, what I've been feeling day to day, how I've been feeling day to day, what my symptoms are, what the pros, what the cons are, all that. So if you want to see that, stay tuned and we're going to jump right into this. So I just wanted to share like what my symptoms were, how I'm feeling, just the first month of things with you guys, just so you guys could get a real understanding of how I was feeling, what to expect if you're thinking about getting it, um, what you might not want to hear, what you would want to hear, just to like so you guys can have more, some more insight if you guys are thinking about getting it or you're shopping around in that department. Yeah. The smallest, lowest dose five-year IUD. Birth control that's over 99% effective for each year of use. Kylina provides up to five years of continuous pregnancy prevention. Once placed by your healthcare provider, it releases a small amount of a hormone that provides you with highly effective birth control and can be removed by your healthcare provider at any time if you want to try to get pregnant. Don't use Kylina if you have a pregnancy. Sorry guys, I wrote down so you guys could like know every week what I was experiencing. So the first week was like magic. Like I had no pain. Um, I had a tiny bit of discomfort, but it was almost as if like the first time you wore a tampon kind of thing. Like nothing like crazy, but just like, just a tiny, like I couldn't feel it or anything, but just like a tiny, like nothing there at all, but just like a tiny bit of the discomfort for a couple minutes throughout the day, but nothing crazy. So that was the first week. And I was like, if this is the first week and this is how it's gonna be, like I could do this. Like this is, this is, I love it. Um, so yeah. So week two is when I noticed a bit of a difference. Um, I would get like, remember in the first video how I said when she inserted it, it felt like if there was a button to press a period cramp, that's what I got. That's what would happen just once a day. Well, not once a day, once throughout the day. And it would last for like maybe five to 10 seconds, but it would be an intense, like you really just stop in your tracks, just like. Like, ugh, it hurts so much. So that was definitely a con, but it wasn't like it was a long time that I was feeling that. It was kind of like someone just pressed the cramp button and then released. So it wasn't bad. So that was what happened week two. Um, I would get that for like three or four days out of the week. And it would just be random. It'd be a couple, couple seconds and then done. But it was still like, uh, uh, noticeable enough for me to notice. So for the third week, I was getting like random, like, really really light cramping like you know like cramping that you would get before your period comes or something I was getting that but like just super light nothing like nothing to take an ibuprofen for or an Advil for but like I felt it and it was noticeable and I was like oh okay but it wasn't terrible like nothing that like I couldn't like go my normal day um, and another thing I noticed that week when I was exercising, I would have a bit of discomfort, but it wouldn't be anything too crazy. For the third week when I would get like the really bad cramp, instead of it being like two, three days or three, four days out the week, it was like almost every day out the week. So it was like, okay, I was expecting it at that point, but because it was just so short, there was nothing I could really do about it or plan for. So I just had to like take it, but it wasn't bad. It was. It was definitely very a painful five seconds, but like nothing terrible. So now we are in week four and because I got it inserted while I was currently on my menstrual cycle, that means I'm on it right now. So I told you guys we were gonna get real close. Hi, how are you? It was like a dream come true. Like I feel like this is what the girls who have like two to three day periods experience. So I'm like just so happy. Um, it's It was like so extremely light. Like I kept on forgetting that I was on my period. Like it was crazy. It was just so extremely light. Like, wow. Um, 
So I know everybody has like similar symptoms, but like it, everyone just experiences it different. So my normal period, um, first two days are super, super bad cramps and pretty heavy. And then the third day, light cramps, still kind of like medium heavy. And then the last two days are super light, barely there. This week was like no cramping. With not even the bad cramps that I was having last week, legit zero cramping whatsoever. Um, what I did have was pre-period cramps, which I never get, so that's why I was cramping so much last week, but makes sense. And it's still our first month, so I still have some getting used to. And as for the symptoms, I usually like have bloating, I get really bad cramps, my back will hurt maybe, I'll have like tender breasts, like, um, but this week I didn't have any of that, and I especially didn't have any bloating. Like, that's what I noticed the most that makes me feel so uh, when I'm on it, but I had zero bloating, so I was just like amazing it was almost as if I had a period with no symptoms whatsoever which wasn't that bad honestly. so I use the flow app I don't know if you guys can see that I use the flow app and as you guys can see on November 9th I had my Kai Lena inserted and normal symptoms that I would have would be cramping spotting Mood swings, irritated, backache, nausea, fatigue, bloating, cravings, constipation, diarrhea. Those are normal like symptoms for me to have, but I didn't have any of that this week. So it's only up from here, honestly. All right, guys, so that was my one month update. I hope you guys got some good information from this. I hope you guys can take something away from this. If you're shopping around in the IUD department and are trying to figure out which one you want, I currently have the five-year Kylina in. Um, and so far, so good. Um, when I first got it inserted, um, my OBGYN told me that for the first three months, I could experience a wide range of different types of symptoms. So I'm just going to stick it out. If you like what you see, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to keep up with me on socials, Instagram, TikTok, Snap, you guys can follow me at Maui's Twisted. I would love to hear from you guys. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Get a serious infection called PID. If you have pelvic or stomach pain or if Kylina comes out, talk to your healthcare provider. Kylina may attach to or go through the uterus. Pregnancy with Kylina is uncommon but can be life threatening and may cause loss of pregnancy or fertility. Ovarian cysts may occur but usually disappear. Bleeding and spotting may increase in the first three to six months and remain irregular. Periods over time usually become shorter, lighter, or may stop. Kylina does not protect against HIV or STDs. Ask your healthcare provider about Kylina. Thank you.